I'm about to do something I don't think I've ever done in my entire time of playing golf, which is to go out and play without any swing thoughts. We'll get started and I'll explain what I'm doing. Well, that's a good start. That tee shot was absolutely perfect. There's five reasons I'm doing this. Number one is that over the years, I reckon I've tried pretty much every single swing thought going, so why not just try none? By the way, it's absolutely blowing a gale again, so I'm hoping you can hear me all right. who's an expert in coaching and skill acquisition and he was basically saying that yeah focusing on swing mechanics is not the way to go. It's not a good strike but it's okay. The third reason is that I've been rereading the brilliant book Golf is Not a Game of Perfect recently and there's loads in there that says you cannot expect to play consistently well if you think about your swing while you play. There's stuff in there from loads of great golfers like um, Bobby Jones, Sam Snead, Nick Price that literally say you can't think about anything if you want to hit a good shot. The book says that successful golfers just learn to score with whatever swing they turn up with on the day. So the good news is I'm on the middle of the fairway. The bad news is that I chunked my two iron so much that it's gone about 185 yards and I've got 240 left. Sorry about the not brilliant footage. I just have to have the tripod based on its lowest setting. Even then it's still blowing over like every other shot. If I put it up any higher then it just goes straight over. This is the downside to playing golf and trying to film it in North Devon. It's a bit breezy. So yeah, I hit the two iron about 185 off the tee with a chunk and then I hit it again into the green and it's gone about 30 yards long, so it's gone about 270. fourth reason is that whenever I've had my best rounds they've been rounds where I've not been thinking about much as I said like I've never played without thinking about anything but whenever I've played great and shot under par or just really good rounds I've only had like one really simple like swing feeling or thought and I've just stuck to that whereas rounds where I've been trying to do like six different complicated things in my swing I don't think I've ever gone out and played well doing that. The difficult thing is when it starts to go badly, it's really hard to just stick to that one simple feeling or no thoughts at all. Like you obviously just want to start grasping for everything you can think of that might help, but yeah, maybe that isn't the answer. Is my hat on a bit wonky? My hat's a bit wonky. Oh, a bit of good drive there actually. Down the right hand side, missed the bunkers. That was grim, that was a wedge, and I think it wasn't too far off and unmentionable. Um, it's just, yeah, gone right, I think it's in the greenside bunker. Yeah, I hit a few balls on the range before I came out, because I've not played for a few weeks, and I just kind of wanted to see what happened without thinking about anything, and the results weren't good. It was a mixture of, like, chunks and, yeah, chunks. So, hopefully, that isn't a sign of things to come.
that's good i think it's like a smidge left but should be fine i feel like not thinking about my swing it's got really long and i don't know a bit more like aggressive than normal but yeah don't know if that's good or bad just an observation anyway the fifth and final reason i wanted to try this is that i just think with all activities it's just more enjoyable when you're like in the present just fully focused not thinking about other stuff so the idea of playing golf and just thinking about like the shots i'm trying to hit and my targets and that's it that feels great yeah that feels so much more fun and relaxing than having to try and like remember different swing feels and hope they work and all that sort of stuff so yeah just see how it goes i'm just going to play nine holes um because yeah it's going to get dark so I've started birdie bogey bogey uh, see what happens okay 300 yard drive i've got 45 left and i've chunked it halfway So awful. I'm lucky not to be in this bunker. Quite a good effort. But unfortunately, if you've seen my putting lately, you'll know that's far from a foregone conclusion. Very happy with those last two short putts. It's been a real problem lately. And those last two were just much more committed. Just thought, right, what have I got to do to get this in the hole? Just stuck to my line, hit it firm, and then it went. Okay. Going up there. Don't think you're going to see a lot of this, unfortunately. I say unfortunately, that might be fortunate, depending on what happens. Okay, so a mile short and in an awful position, like completely short sided. Pit's about two paces on over this bunker. Oh, that's a horrible lie as well. Oh, it's like a little hole. Oh man. of getting off this bogey train but I'm going on to the stroke index one so be interesting I forgot to say that instead of having swing thoughts you're meant to pick like really specific targets so rather than just saying oh I'm aiming down the left hand side of the fairway or you know I'm trying to hit it anywhere not in the water or whatever you pick yeah like the smallest possible target that you can so rather than just picking a particular tree in the distance you pick a particular branch on that tree um, or yeah whatever and the idea being that like your brain and body they kind of know how to like sync up obviously it's not going to be like foolproof and perfect but yeah when they're all like aligned trying to achieve one thing that works a lot better rather than your brain having these like six different swing thoughts and your body trying to implement them but yeah the weird thing for me is like i've never had such a clear vision of the shot i'm trying to hit 
as I've got today because that's all I'm thinking about. And so when the shot doesn't quite match that vision, I'm like, oh, that wasn't a great shot. But actually, like this one, the result is great. I don't know, it's like 10 or 12 feet away from 170 odd yards I had, but it came out a bit lower than I thought. I was trying to hit slightly higher, a bit of a fade. That was kind of pretty much straight, but yeah, results wise, no complaints. It's probably a bit more than 10 or 12, but 15 feet. See again there, I was trying to hit like a two yard draw instead of hit like a two yard fade. But if you didn't know that, you'd think the shot was perfect. Oh, that's horrific. I don't actually know what causes that shot. It's, it's not a shank, but it, it's almost like a mini version. Like it comes out low and just does that. It doesn't go anywhere. So fat. Oh. oh, go. Go, 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 go. Oh, it did go. I thought that was going to be miles short, but it almost went in. So that should be a par. better that one because there's like houses and trees up in the distance so I could pick that target whereas a lot of time it's been hard to pick targets yeah I don't know what's happened there like off the tee it was straight into the wind which is what it should have been um, but approach shot I don't know it seems like the winds completely disappeared and I've gone about 50 yards along so there's the hole and I don't think you can see it because it's so dark <laughs> not there almost in the bushes what are these called by the way like it's not gorse I don't think it's not heather what is it Anyone know? Fucking hell, it's not working for the chipping, is it? Stay there. I don't know if I'd say it's worked or not this really. Like, there's been a few shots, including that one, where I feel like I'd have hit a better shot if I was thinking a bit more about what I was doing, but obviously I've got no proof of that. I think it probably takes a bit of time to like get used to this because I'm so used to like trying to fix my own swing constantly and battling it. But, uh, in the back of my mind I'm like well I know my swing's not quite right so if I just let it do its thing of course the results aren't going to be that good but yeah it's the whole point is you've got to practice so that you can trust your swing but then when you're out on the course that is exactly what you do rather than like yeah trying to fiddle with it in the middle of a round so now I'm down here, maybe I think it wasn't as bad as I thought. It's just really windy. I need to like flop it over that mound to get it anywhere near, but I've got no chance. Right, just to be a 
bit creative. I'm gonna run it through the mound. How well I see this working. Nope. Nope. That was always very risky, and actually, when I hit it, I thought I played it quite well, but. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened, it stopped this side of the mound. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh, God. I'm not sure what I think about that experiment. Um, I thought it was going to be like a revelation and I was going to want to play every round like that forever more, but I'm not sure. I feel like maybe I am someone that likes to have one thing to kind of focus on and think about. Because when I've played my absolute best rounds, that's what I've had, like a really simple feeling like nothing super technical, super simple. Yeah, I don't know, it just feels a bit weird having nothing. Yeah, let me know what you think. Like, do you have many swing thoughts when you're playing? Do you find that you play better or worse when you've got them? Have you ever tried playing without any? Let me know. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the future.